Don't forget to subscribe and leave a comment on this video saying I subscribed. Let's get into it. According to the Indian Air Force Chief, the first Mark II aircraft will have its first flight by 2020 to 2021, and will enter production by 2025, and the aircraft will have enhanced capabilities in terms of payload carrying capabilities. According to an expert, the Tejas Mark II will need to be operated in a stealth environment when it's operationalized, and it is likely to encounter a stealth aircraft in its area of operation, and to remain a technologically relevant aircraft, the Tejas Mark II needs to have enhanced stealth characters, to counter an aircraft which is equipped with fifth generation characters. An incremental stealthy version of Tejas Mark II has been proposed by various experts, and the stealthier version of Tejas could incorporate many of these technologies which are currently being developed for the Advanced Medium Combat Aircraft Program. The stealth Tejas Mark II can have up to 70% composite content, which could reduce its chances of detection on the radar, and its signature can be reduced by exhibiting a greater reduction in its radar cross-section and duct air intakes will help in evading the radar waves, and it will be equipped with smarter tactical targeting systems, improved communications, and advanced cockpit displays to reduce pilot workload. According to latest reports, China's second aircraft carrier has started the fresh round of trials at sea. The aircraft carrier will undergo a series of tests before it is commissioned in 2019. India has one operational carrier, and has more than 50 years of experience in operating aircraft carrier, but China has an experience of only four years. According to Indian Navy Chief, the second carrier INS Vikrant would be ready for induction by 2020, and the delivery of the INS Vikrant will coincide with commissioning of the Chinese indigenous carrier, which is currently known as the Shandong. The Indian Army and the Indian Air Force held a joint exercise, that is being held under the Shanghai Cooperation Organization in Russia. The IL-76 aircraft of the Indian Air Force took off with two squads of special forces of the Indian Army. As many as 200 soldiers from the Rajput Regiment of the Indian Army, and the Indian Air Force, are participating in the exercise, which has China, Russia and Pakistan among other participants. According to latest reports, India is also planning a 4,000 crore rupees proposal for the upgradation of the IL-76 aircraft. India and Thailand have decided to step up defense and security cooperation, particularly in the maritime sphere, considering the evolving security situation in the critical sea lanes in the region. The defense ministers of both the countries have also decided to strengthen the current military drills between the armies and air forces of the two countries. According to latest reports, DRDO is in the process of developing an upgraded variant of the Danush system, which will have an increased range and larger caliber of 52 mm. On 25 August, India's Defence Acquisition Council had approved the procurement of 150 advanced towed artillery systems for the Indian Army, and total acquisition cost for the 150 systems is estimated at $490 million. The third indigenously designed and built offshore patrol vessel for the Indian Coast Guard, was formally launched in Chennai. The vessel will be inducted into the Coast Guard in March 2019, after the completion of extensive trials, and will be manned by a 102-member crew, and utilized for day and night patrol surveillance, and to provide coastal security.